is Morgan Dito. I'm going to be doing skill number 10 today, which is preparing a hazardous gel. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna talk about our calculations. Um, we have testosterone powder that we're gonna be using today, and we're going to be using a gel base as well. So for the testosterone powder, we're going to need exactly 1.5 uh, grams of powder, which is right here. Use 1.5 grams of that. And then for the gel base, which we have right here, um, we're going to be using 28.5 grams. So for the maximum uh, capacity for the 1.5 grams of testosterone powder, it's going to be 1.7. For the minimum, it's going to be 1.4. So for the maximum for the gel base, it's going to be 31.3 grams of gel base or the minimum it's going to be 25.7 grams so we really want to get to 28.5 grams um, we but we can go over we just can't go over 31 or under 25.7 or 31.3 and the same with the testosterone powder so now that I have all my calculations done I am now going to discuss all my materials so of course I have my gel base that I'm going to be using today I have my testosterone powder that I'm going to be using today. I also have my scale. I have my mortal and pestle that I'm going to be mixing the product with. I also have my alcohol wipe. I have my weight boat that we're going to be putting the gel in. And I have my little weight paper that I'm going to be measuring the 1.5 grams of testosterone powder. I have my adapters for my 250 um, milliliter syringes um, to connect them so that way we can push the product back and forth. I also have a cap. So then I have two of the 50 milliliter uh, syringes um, for the testosterone gel that we're going to be mixing. Um, I also have a spatula and I have some nylon gloves. Well, two pairs of nylon gloves. I have my PPD kit as well. So my cap, my um, my mask and my hairnet and my gown as well. So what we're going to do first is we're actually going to start putting on our PPD um, equipment. Well, my equipment. So I have entered the ante room. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna go ahead and put on my shoe covers now that I've entered the ante room. All right, my shoe covers are on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my face mask. We are now going to begin the hand washing. So let me put you up for her. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to take a paper towel to turn on the water. We want it about lukewarm. start by getting my hands wet. And then we're going to get a little bit of soap.
we're going to take our nail brush and we're actually going to wash our nails as well. another paper towel and we're going to go ahead and turn off the faucet. Then we're going to last we're going to grab our last paper towel and go ahead and blot our hands dry. clean and manicured, we are ready to start. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put on my gown. here so we have our gown on and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and sanitize my hands and we're going to let them we're going to allow them to air dry So we have two pairs of gloves that we're gonna be putting on today. Um, the first pair is gonna go actually under my gown and the second pair is gonna go over it. So I, when I put this pair on, I'm gonna put my little fingers through the little thumb holes and put the other pair of gloves on. So now that my hands are all dry, we are now gonna go ahead and put our gloves on. We wanna make sure our skin is protected. have our first pair on we're going to go ahead and put our second pair on we're going to actually tuck the gown underneath our pair of gloves Our gloves are all on, everything is good. We have our shoe covers on as well. So I have all my stuff on. I have entered the clean room and I'm now going to go ahead and start cleaning my materials. Back 
spatula, my pestle, and my mortar. All right. Gonna let that air dry. So what we're actually going to weigh first is our testosterone powder. The reason we're going to weigh that first is because it's less and then we'll go ahead and weigh our heavier one after. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just want to weigh this one first. So what I'm going to weigh it on is actually this piece of paper. I'm just going to make sure it's all air dry because I don't want the powder to stick. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my scale. And I'm gonna let you observe that it's on zero. Okay. So for the testosterone powder, we need 1.5 grams of testosterone powder. Um, for the maximum allowed weight for the 1.5 grams is going to be 1.7 grams. So we can go a little bit over 1.5 to go to 1.7, but we can't go over 1.7. Um, if for the minimum allowed weight, it'd be 1.4 grams instead of 1.5. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take our little piece of paper now that's all air dried, put it on our scale and we're actually going to press tear. Make sure it's at zero. Okay, now that it's at zero, we are now going to take our air dried um, spatula that we wipe down with alcohol and our testosterone powder. And we're gonna try to get to exactly 1.5 grams. Now that I have 1.5 grams of testosterone powder, I'm gonna let you observe that. All right, and what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna go ahead and put our powder on the side. Okay. And now we're actually gonna go ahead and start weighing out our gel base. But what I'm going to do before we actually dig into the gel base is I'm going to clean off my spatula so that way we aren't mixing one another. And allow that to air dry. So for the gel base, we need exactly uh, 28.5 grams of gel base. I'm gonna show you that my scale is at zero. All right, so I'm putting my boat on and it gives it 1.9 grams, so we're gonna press tear to get that back at zero. All right. So for the maximum and minimum allowed weight for the 28.5 grams, the maximum is gonna be 31.3. Um, for our minimum, it's going to be 25.7. But I want to get it at around 
now that I have 28.5 grams of gel base, I am now going to put that to the side. So the maximum allowed weight for 28.5 was 31.3. The minimum allowed weight was 25.7 was uh, grams for the 28.5. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna take our mortal and pestle and we're actually going to go ahead and start mixing our ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna take our 1.5 gram of testosterone powder and our 28.5 grams of gel base and what we're going to do is we're actually going to divide our powder into one-thirds so we'll have three portions of powder and then we're going to divide our base into uh, two portions so I'm gonna Okay, got that into three portions, and I'm gonna go ahead and take half of my uh, gel base and put it into my mortal. Now that I put half of my base in here, I'm now gonna go ahead and get one third of our powder. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to press the powder into the gel and we're going to stir in circular motion slowly. Now that that's mixed up pretty well, we're now going to add another one third of our powder in.
right. Now that we have that other one third of our powder in, we are now going to go ahead and start pushing it into the gel base and going in circular motions. Now that that's all mixed up pretty good, we're now gonna go ahead and put our other half of base in. Now that that's completely cleaned out, we are now going to do what we've been doing, pushing the powder into, well, pushing the mixtures into each other and going in circular motions. Now that that's mixed up all pretty good, we are now going to put the rest of our testosterone powder in. And we're going to push the product into each other and then go in circular motions.
now that it is completely mixed up, I'm going to take another alcohol wipe and clean up my space a little bit. And then we can go ahead and start filling. Now what we have to do is we actually have to take our syringe and we have to draw up at least 30 milligrams of this gel base. Well, not gel base. This testosterone gel cream. Yeah. Okay, so this is 50 milligrams and we need to get to 30.
30 grams of solution. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to take an alcohol wipe and wipe down our syringe. Wipe down the gloves too. Alright, now that it's all wiped down, we can now start, let me wipe my gloves. We can open our other 50 inch, 50 milliliter syringe. And we're going to put our um, connector on. and then put our other side.
This is a workout. <laughs> Okay. Now that it's completely mixed up, I'm now going to go ahead and remove the other syringe. And the adapter. And I'm going to go ahead and put the cap on. Okay, we have 30 milliliters. And our patient's name today is Adam Armstrong. Um, his, let's see. He's getting 30 grams of testosterone gel. Um, he has no refills remaining. Um, so what we're going to talk about now is his label. So we have this testosterone drill all ready to go. We just need to label it. All right. Now that it's labeled, So the BUD um, today's date is actually going to be De is December 10th, 2020. Um, so this ointment is actually good for 30 days. Um, so it's BUD would be January 9th, 2021. Um, so. What we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna go ahead and start filling out our our compounding record. So the drug is gonna be testosterone.
Okay, so the expiration date is going to be January. Well, no. The expiration date on the test drone would be 7 2023. The lot number. So that would be January. 9th, 2021. All right, now that our CR form is complete, I also went ahead and printed out the, um, Pocket from pocketnurse.com um, to test room safety deep, deep data sheet. Um, so if any to test room gets on anything, we have what we can do. So I have that. All right, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and clean our materials. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my scale, allow that to air dry, then I'm going to wipe down my spatula. clean. 
Now my next step is I'm going to give my medication to my patient. Hello, my name is Morgan Dito. I'm going to be your, your pharmacy technician today. Um, so you're here to pick up your medication. All right, your name is Adam Armstrong. Um, could you possibly give me your address and your phone number so that way I can look up, get the right prescription? Okay, so you have uh, the testosterone gel. Um, you're going to you're going to apply this twice a day to the infected area. Um, you have 30 grams of the testosterone gel to use. Today's date is December 10th, 2020. So this is good for 30 days. So your expiration date not to use this gel anymore would be January 9th, 2021. Um, do you have any other questions for me? All right, well, here is your prescription and hope you have a good day.